Hey, what is up guys? It's Adam from Boost HD here. For the last few days now, I've been using the AX4000 gaming headset. So I think it's about time for me to go ahead and give you a full review of these earphones. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. You're watching Boost HD with your host, Adam Lubin. Okay guys, so I'm going to break this review down into three main sections. The first of which is going to be design. As I mentioned before, I really like that flat cable anti-tangle design that they decided to go with. So I think that's a good idea around Paris because there's nothing more frustrating than going into your trousers pocket and finding that the whole of your cable is tangled up. So I really, I really uh, shout out the actual design of having a flat cable rather than a traditional round cable which tends to get tangled up quite often. So moving on to the actual design of the earphones themselves, Paris decided to go with the glossy, uh, the glossy plastic with the almost of a marble effect, which I think is really, really premium. They've also gone with a chrome matte ring around the outside as well. Also, we're going to get a friction ring that's going to allow us to adjust the length of the separation distance between each and the left and the right ear cup, which I think is really going to be useful as well. And also, right next to the microphone, we're going to get a single button, which is going to allow us to play, pause, or either skip a certain track when listening to music. So one thing I would actually like to see on these earphones is an inline volume control because a lot of the time if you're going to be playing mid-game, you don't want to go ahead and adjust the speakers, you don't want to go ahead and mess with the TV remote, you, just, you want to simply just go ahead and adjust the volume right here next to the microphone so it's a lot more convenient, it's a lot more easier whilst you're playing games as well. So moving on to connectivity and compatibility, as I mentioned before, we're going to get an accessory that's going to allow us to connect the four port adapter to the microphone input and the headphone output. Now, if you've got a small device as I mentioned before, such as a notebook and a tablet, you might not need this device, you can just simply connect using the four pole uh, jack if you've got if you've got a, a PC or a laptop you want to go ahead and use the microphone input and the headphone output since those devices still tend to use a separate input for the microphone and the headphone now, as I mentioned before all the time if you want to go ahead and increase the uh, the audio quality of the microphone quite then use it with a USB adapter as I mentioned in all my videos all the time always use that USB adapter and you can also use that USB adapter if you're going to go ahead and connect it to a games console as you can see I'm doing this now with my PS3 but of course you can go ahead and connect that, that same device to your PC or your laptop if you want to go ahead and increase the audio quality or the microphone input quality. Now as far as compatibility goes, as I mentioned, I did mention on the box, it only really says it's going to be compatible with Windows XP and newer versions, but if you want to go ahead and use it with a Macintosh, then what you want to go ahead and do is simply use the USB adapter, plug it into the Mac and then see if it'll work from there rather than going through the complication of just using the microphone input and the headphone input just because there isn't really much stability in terms of compatibility on that platform so on the sales side I always recommend just use the USB adapter just so you don't get into any of the complications when using the Mac with this device. So the final section of this review is of course going to be the sound quality. So I think the sound quality was fantastic across all the boards and I think it was really really top notch. Now for as for listening to music for example I, re I listened to a range of heavy bass and high treble. I think the earphones performed fantastically across all of those aspects over there and I think for gaming which of course what they're made for. Now here's the thing a lot of earphones tend not to pick up the background ambient noise when playing games but these were able to pick it up so so well from, especially with games such as first person shooters like Call of Duty and Battlefield they really really picked up a lot of the ambient noises really well which I think is really really good on a set of earphones especially at this price. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch over so you can actually hear how the microphone sounds on these earphones. You can get a rough estimation of the microphone quality on these earphones. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over now. Okay guys, so the order that you're hearing now is from the AX4000 gaming headset from Perix. Now, of course, feel free to leave your comments down below how you think it sounds, but I think it sounds pretty good overall. So anyway guys, that has pretty much been the unboxing and the review of the AX4000 gaming headset from Perix. Now, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, subscribe if you want to go ahead and see more tech videos. Anyway guys, it's been Adam from Boost HD here. Thank you for watching. Take care and of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.